Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Press the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And if you've been subscribed to my channel, thank you, thank you so much for your patronage. I really, really, really appreciate that. This is about the third or fourth time that I'm filming this video. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit because big technology is watching, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to present this video in a different manner. I think you'll understand. If you're in California, you need to pay close attention to what I'm gonna say in this video. If you wanna work armed security or maybe armed private investigations, or you are already working armed private investigations or armed security, maybe you wanna upgrade your weapon system. This video is gonna be especially helpful. And if you're chiming in from another state, just remember that different states tend to copycat what California has. Just, it just depends on what time period it is. It's, it's not uncommon for your state to actually press the copy and paste button and paste it into their new state law. So that could happen. If it happens in your state, if, if you live in a wonderful state like Texas, Arizona, um, Florida, Virginia, West Virginia, if you, if you live in one of these wonderful states, you might have an awesome opportunity of your state legislator copying and pasting what we have in our books and making your state a lot more wonderful. There are some laws that was passed some time ago. It was signed by our wonderful Governor Gavin Newsom Democrat in California, wonderful governor, and he signed off on AB 2847. And I'm actually referring to my notes here. I, I want to give you the most accurate information as possible. It's AB 2047. This was a bill that's authored by Assemblyman, his name is Chu, C-H-I-U. Chu did a wonderful job authoring this bill. It does not take away from your Second Amendment right to bear arms at all. Um, wonderful, wonderful research that he did, and uh, I'm so happy that, that Gavin Newsom signed off on, on this bill. Anyhow, this is your micro stamping up. This is a, an update in the micro stamping law. So in California, we developed this wonderful idea that, and this is a, this is a slide to a Springfield XD45, Cal. And we developed this wonderful law that revolves around micro stamp technology. So if you look into here, okay, right, see that hole that you see there? So there's something that kind of protrude inside of it. I mean, it's pin size. It's actually your firing pin. When the, when the firing pin is engaged, the firing pin will actually strike the, the primer Give me one second. Let me grab a primer for you. Oh, let me grab a cartridge. So right here is your primer. This firing pin, okay, that's in there, will strike the primer, and there'll be some type of serial number or special secret, top secret code in there. So what ends up happening is when there's some type of shooting incident, Law enforcement investigators are able to grab that casing, get their database, okay, enter the number, and boom, magically appears the register owner for the firearm in which this casing was ejected from. How come I couldn't think about this years ago? And what the most awesome feature is, is that this requirement of basically having a stamp on the firing pin it's not going to at all compromise the integrity of your firing pin. And I don't believe that the stamp is ever going to wear off. You could fire thousands and thousands of rounds, and I think the stamp will always be there. This just makes no sense. This is common sense, common sense gun control. Think about it, okay? Now, you might be wondering, Sean, if you're not in California, you might be wondering, Sean, what manufacturer has this technology? Who? And my answer to you is nobody. Nobody has it. This technology is so awesome 
that nobody has the tech no that nobody has even thought about patenting it it doesn't exist <laughs> the technology doesn't exist but it better exist by july 1st of 2022 and here is why so in california we have an awesome awesome system called the handgun well it's a handgun roster system and only guns that are deemed safe appear on this roster in california generally as a consumer you cannot purchase a firearm unless it's on this awesome magical handgun roster if it's not on it, on it you can't buy it in order to be on that roster the manufacturer has to go through a series of safety checks uh, they have to pass pass the um, the drop test uh, department of justice certifies them and then they get to be on the hanging roster there's roughly 780 handguns on the on this roster now the awesome thing about the roster is for the the majority of the guns have not been updated well i want to say the last update was more or less about 2013 that's when we had a significant amount of guns that were added to that roster franklin armory has two um i think they have a 300 blackout and uh, another pistol that shoots 556 223 that was added on this roster a couple years ago other than that it's been a long time um, since since a gun has been added to this this roster and that's a good thing because if the gun is not on this list then it shouldn't be in the hands of the consumer you know we don't want we don't want to get dangerous weapons out there for example we don't want to get generation glock for uh ge fourth generation fifth generation glocks we don't want to get a sig 320 that's placed on the handgun roster or even the fn what's that new gun that lapd has issued to their officers is it a 509 or is it a 508 or is it a 502 fn herstal uh, nine millimeter because we don't want to get that gun in the hands of the consumer because it's it's too dangerous um so it's 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 too dangerous that only a professional should be authorized to carry that fn pistol that's not on the roster by the way that's why there's roughly 10,000 los angeles police officers that are more 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 than than trained to possess one of these fn pistols they, they got ex extremely great marksmanship gun handling skills y you name it it only belongs in their hands it's a dangerous gun now if you are thinking about getting a weapon i'll leave a link to the california department of handgun roster or the ha handgun roster list so you can search the type of weapon see if it's on the roster if you have recently seen the weapon in a magazine or maybe on youtube enter it into the database and i can almost guarantee that it's not on the roster and that's a good thing because we can't have you guys having dangerous guns out there so let's talk about micro stamping technology effective january 1st of 2022 if the gun does not have micro stamp technology it cannot go on the roster if it doesn't have the magical the magical stencil or stamp okay on that's on the firing pin that maybe a, a magical fairy can put on it if it doesn't have it then this gun cannot go on the handgun roster because it's considered an unsafe handgun it's unsafe in addition if the gun does not have a ch loaded chamber indicator so right here um this is a loaded indicator and i think it goes it goes up it's been a, a three or four years since i shot this gun but um it goes up that means that there's some there's a loaded there's a loaded um there's a cartridge in here okay <clears throat> If it doesn't have a feature, it can't be on the handgun <coughs> roster. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, if there is no magazine disconnect feature. So th what that refers to is when a magazine is disengaged from the weapon, the weapon cannot fire. That's what's a magazine disconnect. Your Smith & Wesson shield, uh, I think a 9, 40, and 45, those weapons um, have a magazine disconnect. I don't know of any other weapons that have a disconnect. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you know about the micro stamp technology, you know a weapon that actually has it, um, let me know in the description below. I mean, I, everybody wants to know what gun has this micro stamp technology so that they can go out and, and actually buy it. 
So if it doesn't have those three features, micro stamp technology, loaded chamber indicator, and then a magazine disconnect, it cannot go on the handgun roster. If, if, it's, if it's already on the handgun roster, they're not gonna remove it. Now, if a manufacturer wants to place a firearm on the handgun roster, there's some requirements. Now, they need to meet those three requirements, but um, Department of Justice will remove three of the weapons that were already on the roster. So let's just say if Glock comes out with a Generation 6 and they want to be on the they want Generation 6 on the handgun roster, well, three of those generations, there's three handguns from that roster need to be removed. So it's basically a one for three special. We will put one of your handguns on the roster as long as you promise to remove three. That way, that way the list can get smaller and smaller and smaller and there's less of a variety to choose from because that is important because we don't want you to have so much of a selection. We want you to just pinpoint with just a handful of duty weapons for your, for your um, business or, or personal, personal purpose, personal use. Okay, so that's the awesome that's the awesome thing about this law. So right now there's about 780 guns in the hangar roster. About about 20 to 30 of them are guns that we routinely use for private security. When I say 20 to 30, I'm including guns that have different colors that are of the main the same model manufacturer. Um, I'm talking about guns that um, that they contain or they shoot different calibers like your you know you might have a Glock 21 um, shoots 45 Glock 22 that shoots 40 cal and then your Glock 17 and Glock 22 that shoot nine millimeters so um, when it comes down to it there's really there's only about six to seven major manufacturers that that um, that private security and law enforcement would would regularly use now all, uh, most of the guns that are on the roster law enforcement actually has phased out of their program, um, they're mostly using the off roster, off roster weapons right now. So, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this. Um, there is no hypocrisy at all in California. Think I'm thankful for university security and university training, the training channel. Um, he provided a name of Leland Yee. That's L-E-L-A-N Yee. He's a former Democrat in California. Actually, a former prisoner in a jail. He ended up um, doing some backyard deals where he actually sold um, some um, assault weapons. And basically, he was the king of, of, of gun control. He helped author all kinds of bills. And, you know, when somebody authors all these bills... And you, you don't want your bill to look bad. Then basically you rename the bill and you have, an, and you have a brand new sponsor. <coughs> like Mr. Chu. <coughs> Mr. Chu, <coughs> San Francisco area. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this. Um, your, your selection of handgun is going to be limited. I mean very limited. They just barely took off your H&K U. USP and I don't own this H and K model. I don't remember the exact model, um, but they just barely took this off of the handgun roster. Barely, you guys. That was one of the guns I recommend for private security. That's taken off. There's not much of a variety anymore. Um, when more people are aware that this law is going to become effective January, July first of two thousand twenty-two, there's going to be a there's going to be a panic buy most likely for different. For, for different guns, uh, there's going to be a shortage. That's what I'm saying. If you're armed security, you want to switch out your weapon system or you want to be armed security, then please um, you, you get get what you need to now. There's going to be there is going to be a shortage, you guys. This H&K series just got taken off the list. We don't even know why. Um, this can happen with all the other, other, other weapons. Some of these manufacturers, ladies and gentlemen, they might choose not to do any business with California. They might volunteer to take their guns off the have, off the handgun roster um, and your selection is just going to be so much more, more more narrower thoughts opinions discussions looking forward to it thank you make sure that you vote democrat for sure kamala harris did an excellent job with helping get these bills passed she um, she she got some type of certification for one of these bills uh, los angeles police department and the the California Highway Patrol also did a super awesome job 
with doing some tests where they're able to test out micro stamp technology and apparently it worked and they forwarded the results to the um, the legislators out there. So, geez, uh, Democrats doing a wonderful, wonderful job in California. I will definitely vote for a Democrat this time around in June. Take care.